Welcome to the Thought for February the 5th. Our readings today are Exodus 11 and 12, Psalm 66 and 67, and Mark chapter 1. And our thought is, A Night of Watching. We read today of the climax of the ten plagues that came upon Egypt. Can you imagine yourself as an Israelite and the awe you would have felt? The early plagues affected us, but then a distinction is dramatically made. While there is pitch darkness in Egypt, it is still daylight in Goshen, as we read in Exodus chapter 10 verses 21 to 23. Is it not true to say, if we are full of true faith today, that we have light in our hearts? while the rest of the people have minds full of darkness? It is darkness as to what is eternally real and true. It reminds us of Peter's words expressed in his second letter, We have the prophetic word to which you do well to pay attention as to a lamp shining in a dark place, until... As the divinely appointed climax in Egypt approached and the plagues became more awesome, how increasingly awed we w- would we have been if we had been an Egyptian? In a sense, our world today is full of Egyptians. Although nearly all are ignoring the darkness, the complete lack of light as far as the future is concerned, the world has a sort of confidence because of the cleverness of many inventions. But these are transient. Today, as we read of the final plague of death on the Egyptians, God's people were made to sense something awesome was about to happen. We read it was a night of watching by the Lord to bring them out of the land of Egypt. Exodus 12 verse 42 For those who knew the Lord, it was also a night of watching. Our world is in a spiritual sense an increasingly dark place. Less and less are looking for the true light. John 1 verse 9 Let us make sure by what we do each day and night in 2021 that we are among those few who see the true light and are watching. We also read today in Psalm 66, it was written as a testimony to the events in Egypt. Come and see what God has done. He is awesome in his deeds toward the children of man. He turned the sea into dry land. There did we rejoice. Verses 5 and 6. The next psalm looks at the future. A prayer to God that your way may be known on earth, your saving power among all nations. Verse 2. Back in Psalm 66, let us all take to heart these words. If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would have not listened. But truly, God has listened. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Verses 18 and 19. At that time, may we be among those who say to God, How awesome are your deeds! So great is your power! Will we be there in that day? We make the answer now. Let us make each day a night of watching, being spiritually wide awake, because we can genuinely see with the eye of faith in the darkness of this world. Thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that they are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.